Hi, I'm Mrs. Schauer, and we are going to be doing some readers' theater today. And this one is called The Mitten. Author is Alvin Kersel, and the readers' theater is arranged by Judith Pearson and Alyssa Butcher. And I am Xander, and I will be playing the narrator. I'm Colin, and I will be playing the boy. I'm Mrs. Shower, and I will be the grandmother today. I'm Ashley, and I'll be playing the mouse. I'm Ellie, and I will be playing the owl. Hi, my name is Kira, and I will be playing the cricket. Hi, I'm Brynn, and I'll be playing the fox. Hi, I'm Matthew, and I'll be playing the frog. I'm Landon, and I'll be playing the wolf. I'm John, and I'll be playing the bear. I'm Grace, and I'll be playing the rabbit. Uh, I'm Noah, and I'll be playing the boar. It was the coldest day of winter, and the little boy was gathering firewood for his grandma. As his grandmother sat knitting a pair of mittens, she said, Bring back at all the wood that you can. All morning, the boy worked picking up sticks until the sled was well loaded. Then, a very strange thing happened. He dropped one of his mittens in the now, how a boy could do this on the coldest day of winter, I'll never know. That's the way my grandfather tells the story. Off he went with his load of wood, and the mitten was left lying, lying on a snowdrift. Soon a little mouse came scurrying through the woods. She was very cold, and when she spied the little boy's mitten with its feathery fur cuff, she said, It looks so warm, and just the right size for a little mouse. <laughs> then a frog hopped over. Anybody home? Only me. Come in. It's cold. And no sooner settled himself snugly in the Red Bull flinning when an owl flew down. May I come in the warm mitten? Mind your manners. Owls made the tiny mouse very nervous. <laughs> and don't wiggle too much because it's a bit tight in here. Soon a rabbit came down the path and said, Is there room for me in that nice warm mitten? It's very, very cold out here. Not much room left, but come on in. Even before the rabbit had gotten herself tucked in, Fox trotted up to the mitten and asked, Is there any room in the warm mitten for me? After a good deal of trouble, she got herself in along with the others. And now, as if things weren't bad enough, the next visitor was a big gray wolf. Can I come in too? Everybody moved around a bit, and finally the wolf was squeezed into the mitten. It was very, very, very crowded by now, but it was warm. Everybody had just gotten comfortable, and they heard a great snoring. It was a wild boar, and he was anxious to get out of the room. The mouse cried. Oh dear, we have no more room. I'll be very careful. And that, with that, he switched himself into the mitten with the rest of the animals. I know this because my grandfather said so. But the worst was yet to come for who should appear but a bear. No room! No room! No room. No. The bear said, Nonsense. There's always room for one more. Without so much to please or thank you, he squeezed into the mitten. And after some time, a cricket came along. When she saw the mitten, she said to herself, That looks like a nice warm place. I'll just hop over there and, and see if I can squeeze in too. But ah, me. That's all that was needed to finish off the whole mitten. The cricket had no more than put her first scratchy foot inside when the rip finna snapped and the stitches came apart. The old leather linen cracked and the soft red linen split in half, popping all the animals into the snow. Well, at this very moment, the boy discovered that he had only one mitten. So he went back to look for it, but all he could find were the ripped apart pieces. 
Is that you saw a little mouse scurrying away with a little red hat perched on her head that looked just like the thumb of his mitt. As the boy snuggled his cold hand inside his coat, he said, Oh, well, my grandma will have my new mittens all done by now. Then he hurried home with the north wind nipping at his cheeks. My grandfather said he never did know what happened to his mitten. The end. 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 The end